Well, good evening and welcome to Integrated Health of Indiana's new Thursday thing. <laughs> we had to move from the talk at 10, and I think we're going to kind of call this the 7 o'clock wind down, just because everybody should be winding down, and I've got to wind down anyway, because tomorrow i got to get up at 2.30 in the morning and I'm back in class. Cardio metabolic. And that is something that we in the Midwest suffer from. But um, I want to take a moment because Nurse Jessica got a new job. And the day she's to start, mm -hmm. <laughs> she broke her arm. Well, dislocated her mm -hmm. elbow. And so I'll let her tell the story. Of what we did? Yeah, what yeah. happened? We were just adventuring on our bicycle. We were riding our 26 miles. Well, actually, we're probably going to end up with about 30, but what would we about 23 or 24 miles in? We were Something 23 like miles in, actually, yes. And then um, Trevor being his protective little self knew I was going to dart out in front of the car, which I may or may not have done, but... There was a car there that was unexpected, so he stopped real quick. So he was in front of me, and I stopped behind him. I was clipped in, got one foot out, didn't get the other foot out, thought I was good, lost my balance, fell. Actually, I'm really shady on like what actually happened after I got my foot out, but my left foot didn't come out so well, and I fell to the left onto a... Um, curb but i tried to not catch myself but i did catch myself on my hip and then i think it hurt too bad so i put my arm out and my arm was just flapping in the way in the wrong way she externally and rotated and pop. usually i jump up and like i'm okay i'm okay and when he did his double take and look back for the second time the look on his face says i'm not okay so i just laid back and said i'm not okay i need an ambulance and then i got two <laughs> and so I want to take a moment to talk about recovery because if you're in your teens and 20s up to age 25 so the adage in functional medicine is you are an expression of your genetics up to age 25 so if you come from great stock and you know the blonde hair blue eye whatever <laughs> then you will be an expression of those genetics and as that happens you know, your size, your frame, your looks, all of that is starting to be developed in the genetics. Then after age 25, you're an expression of what you have done to your genetics. So we know from wartime when they are examining youngsters that are, that are you know, casualties of war. Um, I forget if this was a Vietnam or World War II study or what study this was, but they had people who were young up to age 12 that were in this war that were killed. And when they examined the bodies, they found atherosclerotic plaques inside the 12 year olds. So what does this have to do with recovery? Well, a lot, because what you've done to yourself previously kind of dictates how you will heal number one and then number two, you have to make sure that you're putting the right things into your body so that you will heal. Now, one of the kicks about this or kickers about this is if you already suffer from leaky gut, if you already have issues, once you start to take painkillers, acetaminophen, ibuprofen, and anti-inflammatory, those actually augment a leaky gut and after three to four days, <clears throat> they actually become pro-inflammatory. Yes. So poor Jessica has worked her hiney off for the last two years, three years, straightening out her diet, making sure her lifestyle's on point, and doing everything. And I'm she back to looking like a busted can of biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's a funny analogy. But I didn't break. No, she didn't break. I've been taking my supplements and my calcium. 
and my collagen. But it might have been better if I broke. Possibly. But now is also something that you have to do. So how does the inflammatory, how does the body react to an injury? The first three days after an injury, your body is in an inflammatory mode. And it wants the macrophages to come in. It wants the remodeling to begin. It wants anything that's injured to get basically spackled up real quick so that, you know, back in the good old days, if you were the weakest one, you were culled from the herd and you were the sacrificial lamb so the rest of us could go on. And so your body wants to get you back up and running very, very quickly. And after three to four days, then you need to start that remodeling and start to put the fibers in the way they need to be done. And after you do that, you also need to get off of the anti-inflammatories, pharmaceutical anti-inflammatories and pharmaceutical painkillers, if you can, and allow the body to not be inhibited by that. Because those things, especially the anti-inflammatories, do become pro-inflammatory after a certain amount of time. Depends on the person, how healthy the person is, how ill the person is. Just depends on that as to when that switch happens. But it absolutely causes leaky gut. Then, well, like tonight, she made a beautiful salad. Oh, she also, you have to rest. It's best oh, if you take rest. a 24 to 48 hour hiatus and you take it easy. Yeah, I took about four hours. You, you don't get home at two in the morning and wake up at 4.30 to do your hair and get ready to go to work. Catch especially, me up and let me go. Especially, especially <laughs> if you've already talked to them and they said, fabulous, sort yourself out. Stay home. I'm dedicated. Tell me if not, you're here. Say hey. Not the word that I would Tell say about here. dedicated. I had bicycling to do. Yeah. So she got up and went to work. I don't think that that was the best thing to do, but that's not me. I would have stayed home. <laughs> Possibly. Well, I would have because I can't adjust. But I did not get on my bicycle because the orthopedic surgeon said no. And your, he did say. And your husband said no. He did. Dr. Miller said no. And then Dr. Williams said no, no, no. But what he did say is I could still ride inside. Yep. So we are set up to go for our next challenge tomorrow. And we would like to thank you for making her challenge for the kids' cancer so great. Because we went from a $500 goal and she topped out at over. I think we made $1,007. For, we were doing the great um, challenge um, for childhood cancer awareness. And we started out with a goal 150 miles, which we blew by in half the month. Actually, we almost had that after 10 days. Thank goodness, because obviously I spent the last 10 days. I did not ride, so I haven't actually done anything other than go to work. Um, so the last, so we did, we did like 300 miles, maybe 350 in 20 days we raised a thousand seven dollars so thank you thank you for a lot of our patients and friends who contributed to that so august we did breast cancer um september, september we did children cancer and tomorrow we're starting a new challenge of 300 miles in october for the wounded warriors project so we're going to try to help out the veterans and i'm going to start a 100 push-ups a day challenge for the month of October. I'm not going to participate in that. She's going to do one-handed push-ups. Although I will go to the gym this winter and make my arms a little stronger so that I never, ever have a dislocated elbow again. Because honestly, for all the girls out there, I would, give, I would have babies every day. This was probably the worst pain of my entire life. And today was actually the first day that I felt better. But I've been using quercetin, 
quercetin, turmeric, and flavonoids, very golden little. fusion. I've, I've tried to do very little ibuprofen, although that did help with the bone pain. You've um, been, actually, I only gave you two this morning. Yeah, so that's all I've had. Um, I try to only take those in the morning right before I go to work because I'm not going to lie, it really hurts. Actually, the bicycle shop guy who, thank you, anybody Joe. close, Thanks, Joe, Joe at Columbus Fitness and Cycling, freaking amazing. We usually go in and we've broken our bicycle and he kind of chuckles and was like, what did you break this time? And I'm like, well, me, but I was only out for about 24 hours because they had me all set up. So if you're local and you want a bicycle, which I think everybody should have a bicycle, everybody should have a bicycle. I can't wait to get back on my Thelma and I can't wait to get Louise. That's but for Christmas presents to Thanksgiving, each other. Thanksgiving. I can ride on Thanksgiving. And so when you have to take those things, so like she has to take ibuprofen and she has to take acetaminophen, um, we try to quell the damage by making sure we're taking care of the mucosal layer in the stomach. Um, she wasn't taking those and she was taking the aspirin and the Advil and what happened to your stomach? Oh, after two days, I, I really thought I was going to die. So then I couldn't eat. Um, so not only was I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. My stomach hurt. I was very grumpy. I started sneaking painful. the stuff back into her coffee. My tea. My tea. <laughs> yeah. But everybody says you shouldn't have been on your bicycle, but that's not the way we roll around here. So get off the couch, get on the bicycle. Everybody said, are you mad at your bicycle? No way. I was worried about my bicycle. Go, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> the, 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 bike, the bike was malicious. <laughs> nope. The bicycle was top priority. I did not break the bicycle. So, and I will write again. So if you have any questions, actually just type them in. Um, but. Tell us if you're here. Say hey. Yep. We see six eyeballs. We'd like to say hello. Um, so for recovery for her, now let's get into the foods. And because we're worried, we just did another test. Um, we did the GI effects test on her. And as we did the GI effects test on her we saw where her hydrochloric acid is still off and there's still some dysbiosis in there. And so I started the, the um, enzymes, the hydrochloric acid, so Metagest Spectrozyme, um, especially since we started to eat more salads with, with dark leafy greens because that has a very bioavailable form of calcium and I can't get her to eat liver and I can't get her to eat organ meats. No. And there's just a lot that she's, she's getting better going from where we were three years ago to where we are now as to opening up her palate mm -hmm. to more and different yeah. and better foods. And I do take a lot of supplements to keep myself healthy. But they're supplements I know. to an already healthy diet. I know. <laughs> But that's, I mean, and that's the long and the short of it. You have, we, we only get one go around. Say hi, Gracie. Hi. We only get one go around. So you better take care of yourself. And the younger you catch yourself, I didn't catch myself until I was in my 40s. So the younger that you catch yourself, the better off that you are. They say wherever you catch yourself in the timeline, you can maintain 80% of your max well out into your 80s. And so, but with testing, you can see where you have deficiencies and start to make those up. And that's one of the reasons why we are talking about, you know, recovery, making sure that you have a healthy lifestyle. Um, she's moving her arm at night and she doesn't know it. Yeah. And in all reality, it really does hurt. And... Most people would stay on the couch for a week, but don't use it as an excuse. You got to move. I'd only give myself a couple of days, but I would take a day or two. Yeah, I did. Not go lie. I'm I'm a tough little bird. She's younger than me too, so. But seriously, you take good care of yourself. Get up, move. Yep. You get hurt. That's only because you were living and adventuring. Take it in stride. Do your best. 
Movement is key. It is. And don't just continue on. And so now at starting a new job, the stress of start the stress of schedules changing, the stress of, and I kind of take this all in stride. She's the planner. With all of those things there, your time when you're not stressed is the time when you really need to make sure that you're maintaining the body and you're doing everything that you can for that. And that's where we start to come in and we talk about functional medicine, functional medicine testing, and filling in the gaps and the holes that your genetics have left you with and that your lifestyle has left you with. So if you are interested, and I do say share this with anybody and everybody, uh, we are doing something that we've not done before. And if you go to Indiana chiropractic.com 20 minute consult there's a short video watch that video and then fill out the uh, the form and I will give you a call and we'll do a 20 minute consult and we'll just talk about what's happening and ways to start to get this and get to feel better um, remember functional medicine is not acute care medicine functional medicine is about optimal health if you break an arm dislocate an elbow go to the hospital please go to the hospital but after that then we need to optimize nutrition and health so that you heal come back to 100 percent and can enjoy your life and that's what functional medicine is about so in the video i talk about the just feel like crap syndrome <clears throat> and so if you just feel like crap, or if you know somebody else that feels like crap, um, share the video link. I will say that it has also gone out on uh, Google. It's going to be a limited time. We're probably only going to do this for two weeks because <clears throat> we're very busy, and I don't know how much time I have. So I want to do this, and I will shut it off probably within two weeks. <clears throat> so if you're going to get on it, get on it and we'll update you next week because we'll see if we have to have surgery for this elbow but we will say that my nutrition must be on on spot on because i usually bruise really easy and we of course we you know we had to tear this down to itch it because I just had to there's hardly any bruising there's not a lot of swelling anymore and um your hip bruised and it's going away well the hip it, the hip actually hurt really bad <laughs> i think there was a huge hematoma there but but let's talk about what we've been doing so you know you absolutely are going to have to take something don't be sad that you have to take something because this is where the the medical practice and the functional medicine practice kind of overlaps but turmeric it's really good for inflammation and pain it it actually does work through the daytime and i use it at night Quercetin, um, continued with bone builder, with magnesium. The only thing I can't get her to do is take the fish oil. It's a teaspoon. It's a teaspoon, babe. I take it teaspoon. in a capsule. <laughs> but um, then we continued on with our vitamin D. But we did start the um, I IgG. I've been taking that. Yeah. But I will have to say that um, IgG is very the important. That started hurting. We got on it, and I was good today. IgG is something that we use to bind lipopolysaccharides. Lipopolysaccharides are in every mm -hmm. food. It's in your gut. And if you want interesting reading, that lipopolysaccharide is just basically it's a toxin that is around all the time. And if you have leaky gut. It gets into the bloodstream and it causes all kinds of issues. Just type in lipopolysaccharides and autoimmune disease and you will see every chronic disease known to science there. And so you have to bind this and that's the way that you do it. So 20 minute consult as 
one of my mentors, Dr. Mike Mark Iman says, if you just feel like crap, it's time to get on it. You can see the consult button. Well, that's not a button, but you can see the uh, consult uh, website. We would love to help you out. It actually really is fun for us, and we do enjoy it. We do. Thank you. Anyway, also, oh. I'm going to plug in. So I can't ride outside, but that's not. I'm not going to use that as an excuse. So get yourself a bicycle. Ride inside, ride outside. Um, I would suggest you plug yourself into a goal or um, something good to help others, like the Wounded Warrior Program, which is 300 miles in 30 days. And otherwise, come ride with us. Yeah, we'll have some fun. So I have to hit the bed because I've got to be up in several hours to attend class. It's been a pleasure. This Thank is the regular time. We'll see you next week.